guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another hair video I know I've been vlogging I know I've been doing other content that's not specifically hair and I know you guys are here for the hair like come on let's be serious like you guys are always asking for curly hair content so I got you girl what's up hello we're back <laughs> so today I was like a little bored and I was like you know what I want a finger coil in my hair and I was like why not just do it on camera with you guys we'll chat a little bit we'll give you a little quick update and we'll just do our hair together these are the results I'm obsessed but you got to see how we got there so let's rewind to wash day so for this video I actually use products I've never used before there's only one product that I mentioned towards the end that I've been loving lately but for the most part all of these products are products I have not used oh and the deep conditioner I grabbed one of my old goodies deep conditioner but for wash day in the shower I today was a shampooing day so I did go ahead and shampoo my hair with the derma e thickening shampoo and this is what it looks like I love the way the shampoo felt in my hair it had like a really nice tingling sensation I love that feeling for my scalp I just feel like it's doing something and it's just working better so I love that and then I did go ahead and just pair it up with the duo this is the thickening conditioner I love the packaging of these they each come with 10 fluid ounces so I decided to use both of them the conditioner didn't give me that tingling feeling that the shampoo did but it did have nice slip and it detangled not the best slip it's not one that I'm gonna be like girl you need this in your stash but it was nice it did the job I like the shampoo more after we did that I did go ahead and revisit one of my old-time favorites deep conditioner if you ask me what are your top three deep conditioner this one is always in the mix because I love this one so much this is the weed ad curl immersion triple tree deep conditioner and it has been one of my favorites for a very long time now I apply this to my hair in the shower I let it sit for like oh my god like 30 40 minutes I did my makeup I let this sit and I feel like the longer you leave this in your hair the better results you get and especially if you add some heat to it girl a whole new level you probably won't even need any styling products to style your hair like that's how good it leaves your hair feeling but this one is definitely always a must I forgot about it honestly I forgot I had it it's like tucked all the way into the shelf and I missed it and so I saw it the other day and I was like I need to revisit this because my hair really loved this so those are the products that I use for wash day now let's go ahead and get to styling the first product I'm gonna be using is from Sultanicals and this is their can't believe it's not pumpkin styling cream this is what it looks like right here I love their like little bottles it's super cute so this is what I'm gonna be using today to style my hair as kind of like my leave-in and my styling cream and then I brought out another product that I have not used and this is from the main choice this is their Amazon day perfectly polished gel another product I absolutely love the packaging of it looks so 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 pretty so I haven't done a hair video I feel like in a long time like an actual hair video where I sit down and talk to you guys I'm very excited I wanted to revisit a hairstyle that I mm, it's not really a style I wanted to revisit a styling technique that I used to do all the time when I was transitioning I wouldn't really do like the entire hair usually but I would do the pieces that just like didn't want to curl so I would just finger coil those pieces and so I I was like you know what I literally haven't finger coiled my hair in so long the weather is finally cooling off so my hair is actually gonna last let me go ahead and finger coil my hair so I don't have to worry about it for the next four to five days anytime I finger coil my hair I do get a super long wash and go I mean every curl is accounted for they're all super defined and juicy so for me it just lasts longer than your typical wash and go so that's why I do like to finger coil but I haven't done it in a while so mmm this smells so good this literally smells like my candle I'm gonna take about this much right here and I'm gonna start moisturizing my hair since I am not let me move my mirror you guys see it on the screen I'm so sorry oh you can't see it yay okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just moisturize my hair I'm gonna give you guys all the details okay so this spray bottle right here it's the 360 mister something like that I got it at Sally Beauty or on Amazon I do have it linked to my Amazon store in the description box in case you guys want to get it from there but it's my favorite water bottle ever just because because it comes out so nicely and just so finely missed I feel like everybody knows about the bottle now just in case you didn't that's like my favorite thing to use okay so this smells delicious I do have the can't believe it's not butter the original one it smells really good but I feel like this one has a more thicker consistency than the original one I'm gonna put a little bit more just because I'm not putting a leave-in all right so this whole section is coated if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my hair videos before I love to style my hair in really really small sections just so I can get really defined curls if you're not crazy about definition and you want more volume then make your sections bigger but if you like definition and then you want to achieve volume too like on day two or three style in 
less section. So let's go ahead and try this gel. I love Main Choice gels. I think they do their gels really well. So when I saw that they released a new gel, I immediately had to pick it up. It has a light fragrance. I don't really smell much, but it is very, very like watery and runny. So I'm going to kind of like just tap a little bit of it and see what comes out and then put this on my hair. I don't know how much of a stronghold gel this is gonna be. I should probably read what it says. And for faster drying, sit under the blow dryer. Also could be used as a styling gel for twist outs and braid out. Um, it doesn't really tell me. Ooh, it doesn't really say what kind of hold of a gel it's gonna give me. Okay, well I was trying to look to see if it was gonna give me a stronghold gel. I mean, if it was gonna give me a stronghold, I don't know. I actually haven't heard anything of this line. I haven't watched any reviews or anything so I literally have no idea how this is gonna work but hopefully it works these two products cocktailed really nice together because I'm not seeing any like beading I'm not seeing anything balling up so that's good I kind of was spontaneous with that but I feel like usually if you put enough water you can pretty much mix up any product it's like not a big deal so that's a little trick I've learned over the years I usually never use product from the same line back to back if the line has like a leave-in a styling cream and a gel I mean unless I'm testing it out I would use it together but I usually like to always cocktail my product I like to mix and match from different brands because I feel like sometimes another brand is good at doing something that the other brand might not be as good at if that makes any sense so I kind of like to just you know mix and match but typically I never really experience the beading unless my hair is not really wet or the product just doesn't want to work with another product so I'm gonna go ahead and just finger coil my hair oh my god I used to do this so fast I feel like now I'm so slow like it was my thing because I wanted to really help train my curls and just like help them get defined especially when they were like super stringy I used to have like really defined curls at my root and then my ends were stringy or some parts my roots were like straight and my ends were curly so I literally had to finger coil sometimes just to make sure that everything looked really nice and blended it's reminding me of the old days you guys I really miss doing hair videos I don't know why I kind of stopped doing hair videos I don't know I feel like I was just being very repetitive when it comes to doing hair videos so I didn't think you guys were like interested anymore I was like man I don't know what else I could do so I started uh, vlogging because I've been having fun editing I mean when it comes to like hair videos and makeup videos there's not much you can do when it comes to editing because you're usually just sitting down and I almost ripped my earring off like this is gonna be a super easy video to edit because I'm just sitting down I'm just gonna probably edit like just fast forward it or edit the ums because I say um a lot so anytime you I mean not every time you hear a cut but most of the times when there's a cut it's probably because I'm gonna say um or I repeat myself so I always take that out um see <laughs> But yeah, so I've been just having fun editing vlogs and they've been a little bit funner to do than hair content. But I know you guys are here for the hair content. I'm kind of just like switching on you guys without you guys even giving me permission. So I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys are enjoying all type of content because I've been into doing different things, you know. I'm not going to ever stop doing hair. It's just less frequently. But my goal is to definitely upload at least a hair video once a week. If you want to see hair content, what kind of hair content do you want to see? If you want to see vlogs, let me know. If you like my vloggings um if you like like my amazon haul videos like what do you want to see if you want to see some makeup content like i don't consider myself like a makeup professional girl i could use some help sometimes but if you guys want to see that like let me know literally whatever you guys want to see let me know because i will do it for you guys but be specific in what you want to see so that i can you know cater to you guys and what you guys want to see <laughs>
my hair is all done and all styled. I scrunched it out with a cotton t-shirt just to get rid of the excess water and extra product. And it's looking really good. There's like no frizz, which is why I love finger coiling. There's literally no frizz. Before I quickly wet plop, because I am going to wet plop for like 20 minutes while I'm having some dinner. But before doing that, I am going to lay my edges. I got a new pattern brush because the other one got kind of like weird this is the pattern edge brush and i love it and i'm gonna be using the cream of nature coconut milk shine and hold control glue i use this when i want my edges to like really stay for like the next couple of days so i'm gonna put a little bit of this i never really show you guys how i do my edges because i always think it's like the easiest thing so i literally just like do you see the craziness so i literally just take it and then just start swooping like this and I just want to smooth it down so that it dries really nice and flat. The only thing is that when I have makeup on, it starts to like build up on my brush. You see the build up there? So I always have to be washing my edge brushes. Otherwise, they look really dusty. <laughs> on the top of my head if I diffuse my hair it would go away but I have to diffuse my hair like upside down the whole time and the way my neck is like it just doesn't no like I'm getting old I be having neck pains so we're not doing that so what I do is after I style my hair I wet plop for like 10 20 minutes just to let my curls you know set and so that they can start getting volume at the root so wet plopping is literally I take my cotton t-shirt I put it into like a little I put it like this like a little V situation. I flip my hair over and then I tie it. So I'm going to show you. I have like a whole wet plopping video in case you guys are like interested to know more about wet plopping. But I'm going to tie it up. Sometimes I like to push it back just so that this can be a little bit kind of like flatter and not like super poofy. So I'll leave this in my hair for like 10 to 20 minutes. I'm going to have some dinner and then I'll come back and show you guys how I diffuse. So I am back. I took off the t-shirt so I'm ready to diffuse. I'm using my Dyson blow dryer. I love this blow dryer. It really does help speed up the drying process. I typically leave it in cool air and one warm just so that it can dry a little bit quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you guys will see the process process of my hair growing and drying. results now I remember why I loved finger coiling my hair I feel like my results come out so good every single time I finger coil my hair is so soft you guys I wish you can touch it it's super soft super duper voluminous and fluffy I really like it this gel is definitely not a stronghold gel although I do prefer a stronghold gel this one still gave me a nice hold I can still feel the hold and my hair feels nice and moisturized it doesn't feel crunchy or anything like that I did go ahead and set 
separate my finger coils using the kiss argan and macadamia hair oil I love this one I've been going through it because it feels really nice and then my ends were getting just a little tiny bit frizzy for my liking so I did scrunch in some more of the can't believe it's not pumpkin I feel like everything just looks nice and uniformed and it looks really really good it feels really nice and airy I do feel like I'm gonna get a couple days out of this wash and go again it's not a stronghold gel so I might not get like a full five to six days but I do think I can get a good four days without having to refresh my hair which is amazing I will update the description box and let you guys know how many days this wash and go actually lasts but I love it and I'm here for it so I hope you guys enjoy this random spontaneous hair video I hope it taught you a little something again if you're transitioning finger coiling always helps or if just you have like a frizzy prone area that doesn't cooperate with you just try to finger coil it add some more product and see if that helps so that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.